Hello everyone! Welcome more Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2 Extras! This time we're taking on all of the Saiyans, all five of them. Or six, actually. All six Saiyans. With a special kind of Saiyan this time. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Yep. So let's go. Second costume. First off, Raditz. The weakest of all of the Saiyans, as far as we know. Oh. I mean, hell, even Go Kid Gohan managed to damage him really good, so I'm pretty sure he's fairly weak. Hmm. This should make a good warm up. You're going to die, fool. Alright. There you are! Um, yeah, like a few weeks ago, or whenever the hell it was, and then the movie was in theaters, I actually did go out and see, um, Battle of Gods in theaters for the, like, two days it was out. And it was actually pretty fucking cool. I'd rank it as, like, my third favorite Dragon Ball Z movie, only being topped by... Wrath of the Dragon and Cooler's Revenge. Um, some people may not like that. I that may not like that opinion. You know, they may think Battle of Gods is the best there of them all, or something. But you know, uh, I mean, and others may think it's like the worst of them all, and I I should hate it just as much as I can't stand Broly's Second Coming or something like that. Um. But I, I still thought it was a very decent film, it just had some issues. I mean, it definitely had really good art style, like the best artwork I've seen out of any Dragon Ball Z film that I've watched. I mean, I haven't watched them all, but, you know, out of all of them that I've seen, it definitely had the best artwork. You know, with really, with how well it drew in, like, how well it combined... Uh, CG, the CG with the 2D animes, animation, it really blended well, and I think that really worked in its favor. My only problem with it was, I have well, my problems with it were, though, that it didn't develop the characters that well, and some of you may be thinking, well, then why do you like Cooler's Revenge that much? Well, that's because Cooler's Revenge didn't take its time tr attempting to develop the characters. Oh, and Super Saiyan 4 leveled up. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But, you know, Cooler's Revenge didn't bother trying to take- trying to develop its characters. Battle of Gods seemed like it wanted to wanted to develop its characters somewhat, and we're fighting Super Saiyan Trunks. But yeah, it, it, that's- that's a problem I saw with it was, Battle of Gods wanted to develop its characters, but it really didn't. I mean, what do we know- before you guys, if you guys haven't seen the English dub, um, I know his, the original, his name was Bills, but in this one his name is Beerus. Damn it. This should make a good warm up. Are you ready? Then come and get me. Ready. <sighs> Alright, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, um. You know, in this one his name is Beerus and whatnot, so if I, whenever I say Beerus, those of you who saw the Japanese version haven't seen the dub can think of Bills. Because I'm not going to keep saying Bills just for you guys. Um, whatever. But Beerus, what do you know about him in this, ver in this movie? You know he, he can destroy planets, and you know he can get pissed off easily. Basically the same qualifications as Broly. <laughs> Uh, as much as we know about, uh, actually, I think we know more about Broly than we do about Beerus, which is sad. I mean, granted, you could you could say that because Broly got like three movies dedicated to him, but only the first one actually did had time to, to tell you who Broly is as a character. The others were like, Broly's coming back. He's gonna murder everyone. They, were, they didn't. They didn't develop him as a character. Can still fight. 
Um, it, and that's bad. You know, I, I wanted to know, you know, like, yeah, Beerus is a destroyer of planets. He's a god destruction, whatever. He does that because he finds it fun and he can get pissed off easily. But, you know, can we get, at least learn some more about, like, his backstory, what he was, what it was like when he was younger or something. Something about Beerus outside of him being a destroyer of planets. You know, you just don't get to know him that well. Um... I will give the movie props, though. It is probably the funniest Dragon Ball Z movie I've seen. Um, especially the bingo dance scene. For those of you who've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. I believe it was still the same thing in the original um, Japanese. And oh my god, that was the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in Dragon Ball. It was just laugh out loud hilarious. I... God, I don't think anything has ever been that I've ever seen anything that funny in, in a you know in a two D animated movie. I don't think I've ever seen anything that funny. The, oh God! I'll tear you apart. This is kind of weird. My past self versus my future self. Kinda fighting myself, hitting myself. I know I can charge at the Big Bang Tech, but why? <laughs> but I can just smack myself around. Come here! Come here, me! Boom! Uh, let's see, what were some of my other issues I can remember from the movie? Um... I don't know. I, I, I just... Like... I don't know, the reason I put it below Wrath... Like, the reason I think Wrath of the Dragon is better because is because it did take time to develop its characters. I mean, maybe not so much Harutagon. I mean, it did kind of develop Harutagon a bit, but not by a whole lot. But every other character that only appeared in this one movie... You really got some decent amount of time to develop them. You really got to know who these characters were. And even at the end of the movie, the fact that it managed to connect itself to the main storyline was amazing. I am the Prince of Saiyans. You know, it's... It was just great that you managed, it managed to connect itself to the main storyline of Dragon Ball Z and explain something from the show that I don't even think the show tackled. You know, which is really cool. Um... Even though the problem with Wrath of the Dragon is its fight scenes weren't as good as some other Dragon Ball Z films, but I believe the character development and the characters themselves more than make up for it. Uh, and then you got Cooler's Revenge, which it didn't take time to develop its characters, and I don't think it was trying to. I don't think it really wanted to develop its characters. Oh yeah, we're fighting Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I forgot to say anything about that. Whatever. Um, fight's already started, so 